Favorite holiday movie? <laughs> Carol. Pillow Talk. Hello everyone, this is Pillow Talk. This is Sarah. Hello. Um, Ro something. And I'm Adriana. Del. Duffus Capupo. And we are here to celebrate 2016. Be over. Know, yeah, I know. It was like, it was kind of a rough year. It was kind of maybe the worst year. But we ha we've come up with some things that were great. 2016, our favorite game moments, just game moments in general. Number one. And it's Chris and Stewart not coming out. Technically, maybe it was 2015, but we're gonna celebrate Kristen Stewart every year because she deserves to be celebrated for never coming out because she doesn't need to. She's just being her. We're not clapping. Okay, on to the next one. Another exciting highlight from 2016, Kate McKinnon blowing up. Uh, Career-wise. Yes, and going from like SNL to like Ghostbusters to like cameos in all kinds of movies. Oh my god, she's just the best. So happy for Kate McKinnon. Yeah. You go, and girl. I'd like to announce that she is my girlfriend. Can she verify? Um, yeah, you can reach out to her agent. The next thing to celebrate for a game moment is uh, Carol winning Best Picture at the Oscars <gasps> in 2016. Remember? Remember when Carol won Best Picture? It's gonna... it's in the history I box. mean, I don't remember what won, so... So obviously Carol won. A great show in 2016 was transparent, basically covering everything in the entire LGBT spectrum and actually having a whole bunch of trans characters on the show. Yeah, that's also, also that, that like family is very gay. So, I mean, maybe not like a great win or a great gay moment, but it's showing how love can trump everything else. And that was when Vladimir Putin helped his boyfriend, Donald Trump, win an election. So that was a win for homosexual love and a loss for humanity. Lauren Harrigy comes out as bisexual from Fifth Harmony was a big deal. And I know you're going to leave a comment that I said her name wrong, and I'm sorry, but we're so old that we like the Spice Girls when we were your age, so, you know, cut us some, some slack. <laughs> but, um, I knew when she came out because I could hear the billions of gay girls screaming yeah, when she did. Yeah, it was did, very, so. like, type it, Sadie's ears were like, what's happening? And I'm like, that's the sound like, oh. of gay people happy. I mean, it's all you guys ever wanted and it came true. So, see, if you wish hard enough... Oh, if you wish hard enough for someone to be gay... It will happen. One of my favorite moments from 2016 is Tatiana Maslany finally winning a fucking Emmy. Finally. She's not gay, but she plays gay, and that's really all what that, matters. Yeah, that's all that counts. And also, I think she can have, I think she's a little bit curious. I've seen her on the street once, and she looked at me longer than she should have. So. Can I verify that with her agent as well? Yes, you can verify with, that. verify with her agent. He will confirm <laughs> that is true also. It's been a great year for TV shows and queer characters. I mean, should we try and name some? There were so, so many. many that we can't even name them all. Winona Earp. Person of Interest. Uh, Sense8. Black Mirror. Supergirl. We can't name all of them. No. Because, which is great. But now there's so many shows. And you can kind of start to pick what you want to watch. Sarah Ramirez came out as bisexual. Grey's Anatomy, Callie. Uh, another great win for women is Amber Heard divorcing Johnny Depp because now she is single and most likely interested in me. Confirm that with her agent. 2017 is the year of Adriana, I think, right. was what's gonna happen. There were a lot of lesbian YouTube couples that broke up this year, which is pretty sad, but Kristen and Kristen proved that true love is real. I didn't think love was real, but then I saw it on YouTube, YouTube video. And I was like, it is real. Yeah. Another great moment from 2016 this year was uh, the series finale of Faking It when Carmen and Amy ended up together, <sighs> which is what I remember. I'm pretty sure they ended up together. They did. Though, and that was a they win did. for LGBT people. One of the most important things for gay people to happen in 2016 was news of the Xena reboot. Oh, You'll hear me. Sarah screaming in the distance when it, the news drops that Wait, it is I want. Out. I need to know who Xena is. Yeah, that's... I'm just gonna start tweeting that it's been 84 years Titanic meme at, like, the Xena that's people. That's good. That's good. It works. And another great win for LGBT people um, is Viola Davis's character on How to Get Away with Murder. Um, she's bisexual. And I apparently it's the only time that a black bisexual woman oh. was the lead of a TV show. You go, Viola Davis. I mean, she's great, though. You go, girl. Yeah. Leave a comment with some of your favorite gay moments of 2016, or if you agree with any of these gay moments. I mean, we had some pretty good, good gay moments. Also, leave a comment with your guess 
on which celebrity Adrian is going to date in 2017. Oh, that's great, Sarah. Literally just pick one and it's going to be a pretty good guess, so. And thumbs up for being through 2016. Yeah, it was that was kind of hard. Did we did it. We did it, you guys. If Britney Spears can survive 2007, we can survive 2016. Then and never we get to did it. it. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you guys next Monday. So someone requested and they said, what do you do? when you're home for the holidays and you got to deal with homophobic dickwads. So we are gonna help you with the most common phrases that get thrown at you during the holidays and like how to respond to them. 